Sean, it's Friday, the final day of installing on this Mercedes Sprinter 3500 170 extended, made in 2012. Uh, what's, what's the plan to wrap this thing up? Uh, today we're gonna do all the programming, so we're gonna program the inverter, uh, we're gonna program the battery monitor and the solar, so make sure everything's talking to the right batteries, has the right charging parameters, um, do a final QC of the whole system and make sure everything's running, test everything, test load assist. Sounds great. Yeah. Watching some of these videos that we've been making, I noticed that I start each segment with, all right, like I think I'm Matthew McConaughey or something. So I'm going to try and clean that up. But uh, tell me what you're doing with your phone there, Sean. So we're at about 61% charge on my phone here. And I think there's enough battery power in these guys to get me up to 100%. Not quite sure yet. but well, we'll... There better be. <laughs> so do we actually have charge we taking do. place? Yep, a little so you're telling me the DC charging system works. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice. I could charge about a million of these. <laughs> okay. We just installed a cover on the Class T fuse. Um, one of the things that will be different between like our install and a uh, do-it-yourself install is... We don't just treat this as a fuse, we treat this as a junction post. So you see all kinds of connections coming off of different parts of different components. And we don't expect a normal end user to be able to install a system like that. And you don't have to, that's just kind of our artistic style. So this morning we have uh, both of our Sean's. Uh, we tend to hire a lot of Sean's here. Uh, th this Sean, he is going to be programming the inverter, which can be a real headache for a lot of people. It requires a PC. We had one customer do it with a uh, Mac computer, and I don't know how they did it. If you want to do that, good luck. Uh, we're not going to be able to offer much help in that regard. Um, another thing you need to do is uh, make sure that you have 12 volt power to the inverter. You don't need to be on shore power. Unscrew the faceplate and um, We've got some communication cables we need to hook up, like an MK3 to USB adapter, which comes in all of our kits. And just so you know, this is a cheap little PC that we picked up at a local electronics store. Nothing fancy. If we drop it, big deal. Uh, you don't really need to own a PC. You can just get one of these cheapo ones, or you can just make friends with somebody who has one and borrow it. It doesn't take very long to do this. Prior to programming an inverter, we like to get a cheat sheet that's downloadable from our website. So Sean, show us where you get that cheat sheet. Yeah, so we're at the homepage right here. So if you go to the near the top right, you've got a DIY instructions. And if you just click on that without clicking on the drop down, it'll take you to the main page. And there's a lot of videos at the top, but if you scroll past those, and I'll populate here, scroll past the videos, then you get a wiring diagram library, some other wiring diagrams. And this is where we want to start paying attention to what's relevant to us, the inverters. So down here we have a programming guides. And right here is our multi-plus inverter programming guide. We just want to download that file there. And that's just a PDF? And that's just a PDF. It should pop right up on your computer and that's what okay. we're using. Alright. So according to the guide, uh, we need to go to the Victron website and download the software for running the MK3 to USB adapter, which is what communicates via a USB port to um, your inverter. Yep. Show us so, where we get that, Sean. So right here at uh, Victron Energy's main page, which is just www.victronenergy.com. And then it's actually just one click away, and it's this downloads right in the uh, near the top right. So I'm going to click on that. And now it's going to take us to the downloads page. And the first link you see here on the page is VE Configuration Tools. And okay. that's what we want to download. So you just save that to your desktop and then... Uh... Right, it's an executable okay. that you save to your desktop and as soon as it's done downloading, you install it and okay. that will put the programs on your computer you need. So now that you have the Victron program downloaded, the next step is to get the firmware corresponding to the type of inverter that you have. In this case, it's a Victron Multi Plus 3000. And then you'll want to get the... Um, settings files that we created for this specific type of system. So you would do that on the AM Solar website, right on that uh, uh, DIY instructions page. So we're here back at the top of that page, so we'll scroll past the videos again, just for reference, past the wiring diagrams, and then we get back here into the programming guides. Oh, 
we're gonna go all the way past the programming guide that we downloaded earlier. And right here is the firmware MultiPlus 3000. So in this case, since we're programming the 3000, we're gonna download that file. Okay. And just click on it. And this just saves it to the computer. I've had a lot of people call and say, hey, I, I, can't, I can't read this file, I can't open this file. Well, of course you can't, it, you're not an inverter. This is something that gets fed onto the inverter. You don't actually look at this file. And then, uh, so after you right. do that, you've got the firmware, then the next thing is the settings. So, um, we've, yep, got so a, we've, we've got a battery settings V4. Right, and that's this one right here. So you would just click on this file. And then it's okay. going to start another download. All right, both of those are downloading. Great. Okay, we have uh, 12 volts going to the inverter. We've got the faceplate off. Um, now we're going to start programming now that we have all the software uh, loaded onto the computer. Show us what we do here, Sean. What's the order of events? All right, so the first thing we want to do is you got your uh, MK3 here. So you make sure that it's, of course, connected to your computer. And then the RJ45 port on the other side. You remove all the existing ports from the inverter. Of course, in this case, we only have one. Yeah, so this goes to the digital multi-control. If we had a color control monitor, it would take up that one. We would pop one of those out. Uh, or actually, we, we pop them both out for programming. Right, right. And then you can put this into uh, either port. But where, so you know, they're universal. Either one, we're going to put it in the left one. And the inverter one. is in off right now, meaning that this switch is down. It would make more sense... Uh, I can show you what the faceplate looks like. Uh, yeah, so, let's see. Actually, it's, is it in the middle or in the charger? It's in, it's in off, it's on in right off. now. Okay, so yeah, so we would, we would have that in an off mode. And then once we plug everything in, then we turn it to on. Is that right? Yep, yep. Once you plug everything in, you turn it to on. Okay. And then uh, we can see some lights flashing. Yeah. So don't worry about any flashing lights at this point because it's not programmed yet. Yeah. Like so, you might get error indications on a digital multi-control if you had it plugged in. Don't worry about that. That doesn't mean anything. Right. Right. So what we're gonna do now is go into VE Flash, and which that's is the software we just downloaded. Correct. 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 And this is the first part of the. Uh, system VE flash does a firmware upgrade so this is actually uh, upgrading the firmware on the inverter so this is step one okay and, and that that firmware is what we downloaded from the AM solar website correct exactly correct. okay correct and specific to the multi plus 3000 inverter yep. okay yep so the first screen here when you open up VE flash is just a welcome prompt we want to click next and then it's gonna select required action update the firmware next and click that and then it'll give us a warning sign here and this is fine we just want to click past that and now this is the select file now we're gonna select the file that you had just downloaded that, uh, we and you downloaded to. two files so get the one that is the VFF exactly okay. this one ends in the VFF extension and you probably saved it to your desktop or maybe to the, your My Documents folder, wherever you saved it to. Just retrieve it there and then click on Next. And this part's very important. You want to follow these steps exactly like it says. So preparing your system is basically what we've already done. Uh, taking out the RJ45 cable, put in our RJ45 cable for programming. And now we click on Next. Now we've got Auto Detect COM port. So yes. you want to click on auto detect. And that's so it finds the right USB port. Exactly, exactly. It knows now that on this computer it's COM5. On your computer it's, it could be anything. And then once it auto detects that and finds the COM port, click next. And now you have a sequence of events where it says connect part one. So we switch the device off. I'm just gonna power that down and then hit next. And now we just power it back on and then hit next. But you have to do it in that order and when the screen is prompting you. And now it's connected and ready to program. So it's in programming mode and all the lights from the front should now be off because it's no longer connected to the power system. It's not connected to your computer. Okay. Now we click on next 
And as you can see, it's doing a firmware update, which is a great little graphic of binary ones and zeros getting dumped out and put back into the inverter. It only takes uh, about 30 seconds or so. Okay. We'll wait for that to happen. So if you're watching this video and you think, there's no way I can do this on a computer, I don't know how to do this, just let us know. We can pre-program it for you. Not a problem. <laughs> all right, Sean, is it ready? Yep, everything's ready to go. We have our inverter all programmed. You can kind of hear it's humming away. It's charging our batteries. We've tested our full uh, shore power, our AC system. Um, we've programmed the inverter, programmed the solar charge controller, and our battery monitor as well. So everything's programmed and ready to go. Um, ready for the customer. All right, installed, cleaned, ready. Great.